The Trigger Spoon Jr. Big enough to draw strikes from trophy trout, small enough to round up a limit of pan-sized fryers, and the perfect spoon to put on the end of your line when the trolling gets tough. Pick up your kit at Trigger Spoon Juniors today at fishhuntshoot.com. been working on my kayak um, I've got it in the trailer and I've had a lot of requests for a walk around the kayak to kind of show you you know how I got it set up just kind of show the ins and outs of the kayak you know on, on dry land where I can talk about it so let's do that right now I'm gonna flip the camera around you won't see me anymore mostly you're gonna hear me talking but I'll I'll be pointing things out I'll be pointing to the kayak so let's check it out let's uh, step over to my trailer here Well, there is my Hobie Pro Angler 14 as it sits on the trailer. This kayak came from Kayak City in Citrus Heights, California. Um, they are your source for Hobie kayaks and more. Um, this is a 2017 model. It does not have the 360 drive, but it does have forward and reverse. Um, my top speed in this kayak, if I'm pedaling hard, is about 5 miles an hour. I control it 3 miles an hour for sustained periods with no problem. Um, been a very effective fishing machine so let's let's take a closer look we'll start out here up at the nose um, one of the reasons I chose the pro angler 14 over the 12 two reasons one the 14 has more storage and it also has more room and I, I like to take my dog along with me so Lucy she's she's kind of got the run of the back deck but we'll get back there in a second so up front here we have this large storage hatch here and I'll open it up I don't have much in here today um, some basic summer stuff. Um, I got my little portable downrigger in there. I've got a tarp in there just for when I go to shore with the dog. And uh, this, this is important. Everybody should have this in their kayak. That is a tool kit. I've got some tools in there, screwdriver, pliers, wire cutters, stuff like that. I've got some spare parts. I've got some spare wire crimps in case I need to work on my batteries or my fish finder. And I've also got a notepad and a Sharpie marker in there. Um, in case something happens, I've got some of that all-weather waterproof paper. I can leave a note if I ever need to leave a note. I've never had to leave a note, but hey. And it's all in a, a waterproof uh, Pelican 1060 series box. So everything stays dry. It stays rust-free. And uh, if I need some tools for an emergency repair, I'm ready to roll. Tools, parts. Um, I actually have an extra... Um, uh, steering package in there and stuff like that in case something breaks I want to be able to fix it out in the field so that stuff's all in there sometimes this is camping stuff you can use this tub as an ice chest and this does this does lift out let me lift it up here it lifts out and it, it gives you access to the inside of the kayak and if I'm camping and stuff sometimes I have stuff under there I've never used it as an ice chest but uh, it certainly can be used as an ice chest now here right here got these bungees lid straps down just like that Let's hook those right there and uh, out here I added this this is a standard uh, Scotty rod holder mount I mounted it on the lid and I like to put a, a camera boom up here so I can film you know back into the kayak so that's kind of what I got going there now getting into the cockpit here on the on the Hobies you have two big plates here they have a slot here where you can put different types of of uh of rail mounts so you have one have one on either side of the kayak and these are large and on this side what i have right here i have a a scotty rail mount right there and i have a scotty uh rod balancer right there but i'm not using that as a rod balancer what i'm doing with that let me let me grab my net i'll be right back okay so what i've been doing with that uh with that rod balancer is I've just been balancing my net in it. Now, I used to have my net back behind the seat. I really didn't like that arrangement. I like the net out in front of me where I can grab it and net a fish right away. It's uh, got a tether on it, but it's just setting in there. So I can grab it and, and I'm ready for action in no time at all. Now, I haven't tested that. Um, I just set it up, but I think that's gonna work really really well you know i've been i've been fishing out of this kayak for over two years now and i'm just now starting to really get it dialed in how i like it so let's continue with the with the cockpit here so 
the large storage hatch here. I keep a small ice chest down here sometimes. That's where I often keep my worms and stuff. And I have this old ammo uh, box here inside of there. That's where I keep my battery. Um, and that powers my sonar unit, which hooks up right over there. Mounts on that uh, ball mount right there. Um, but that is the power supply. I pop this out and charge it. It lasts for three or four fishing trips. I typically charge it, you know, for every fishing trip, but it, it lasts really well. So that goes in there. I have the wiring comes in the back side of the box. And then this unit just sits down in there. And then I close this hatch. Um, this seat here is extremely comfortable. And I actually have a new accessory. I want to grab it and show it to you. So I will be right back. So check out this DeWalt storage box. I saw a guy on a kayak channel that had one of these. I forgot what channel it was, but uh, when I saw it, I thought it was really cool. He has a Hobie Pro Angler and uh, this unit will store right under the seat. In fact, it's going to end up strapped down underneath my seat, but check it out. It has two drawers, two compartment drawers, and uh, they latch, reach under, pop them out like that. And, uh, you know, these are, these are pretty big. I have a big hand. These are pretty big compartments. Um, you could move them around if you want. But bottom line is, this is where I'm going to store things like pliers and uh, downrigger releases, leader material. All that kind of stuff is going to go in here. It's got dual drawers and uh, it is going to live right back under there. I'm going to get it in a good position where it is kind of right at the edge of the seat, you know, something like that. And I am going to strap it down and it is going to live there. It's going to travel there. That's just where, where that DeWalt box is going to go. Um, the Hobie seat, outstanding. The seat is fully adjustable. And, uh, you know, you could take it out when you go on the road. But it is strapped down back here. It is strapped down with this um, web material. And I added a bungee cord right here to keep the seat from opening and opening up. And I'll show it to you in the open position. Pop this out, just like that. It is an exceptionally comfortable seat. Um, this is actually more comfortable to fish out of than like a, like a Gregor, like a tin boat, something like that. So very comfortable. I'm digging that box. That's very cool. Um, finishing up with the cockpit here, and then we'll move, you know, kind of down the rail to the, to the rear of the kayak. That right down here, get my pointer. This is where the pedal drive snaps into position. Um, you have rod holders here, rod tubes. They, they go up into the front of the kayak. You have enough space for six rods, three on the right, three over here on the left. And, you know, I've, I've used those extensively and uh, I've really kind of come to not like them very much simply because I'm filming, I'm doing different things in the kayak. And this area up here, this is really my workspace. I don't want a big jumble of rods and reels here, rod butts over here. I also didn't like, I used to set my, my paddle over here. I didn't like that in my way either. And we'll get over there in a second. I have an innovative solution for paddle storage, but uh, I'll show you that when we get over there, when we get over there on the, on the starboard side of the kayak. So moving back, um, towards the seat here. We have these tethers here. This one, this is the tether for my pedal drive. Everything in the kayak needs to be tethered. And this is the tether that ultimately would attach to the butt of my net. Sounds like I'm getting a call. Let me grab a couple things and uh, I'll be right back with you. Well, I'm back. Excuse that interruption. Um, so we'd been talking about the chair, the cockpit. Here are those tethers. This one here is for the net. This one here is for the pedal drive. And uh, there are my two rod holders. Um, you've seen these in action plenty of times if you watch the channel. I like one rod coming back across the kayak, one rod going out there to the uh, starboard side of the kayak. Allows me to control two rods without too much, too much trouble. And uh, if I'm running my downrigger, that attaches right here on the port side, um, cranks up and down right here. And then I adjust that rod holder over there to accommodate that, that downrigger rod. I basically tip it up a little bit to give me a little more angle when I'm running to downrigger. So uh, let, me, let me come over here. This is something I'm really excited about right here. This is, this is just a standard um, rocket launcher style three rod rod holder. And it took me a while to figure out 
just how to mount this. And what my goal was, was to get all of my rods out of the cockpit, out of this area here, except the rods that I'm actually fishing with. I wanted to store my other rods back here out of the way. I wanted to get them up vertical, so I, uh, I took one of these um, Hobie rail mounts with the, with the plate on it. It's made to hook to the H rail, so this is totally portable. I had ended up having to mount a, uh, a block of oak on here. Um, I mounted the oak to the rod holder, and I mounted the, uh, the, the oak to the, uh, to the Hobie mount, and there you go. It's, uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty sturdy. I just finished this today. I haven't actually used it on the water yet, but uh, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty stoked about that. I like the way that came out. I'll set a, uh, a tackle box right here in this area. Um, and this whole back section of the kayak, this is Lucy's area. This is, this is her deck. Um, this is just one of my, one of my tie down straps here. This is, uh, Luce, Lucy's tether. Uh, I snapped that on the back of her life jacket, just so if she falls out of the kayak, um, she won't get separated from me. So let's kind of go over to this side right there, mounted inside the rail. I have my, uh, my Hobie tub. Now I mounted that outside the rail. Kind of walk over here and remove the upper shelf. I had this mounted outside the rail for a long, long time. I love the storage um, it offers, but it kept filling up with water when it was outside. So I've got it inside and this is where I'm going to keep things like my worm threader, sinkers, pliers, you know, stuff like that. And then it has a tray right here for little items and it has a, a bungee that goes across and secures that in place. You know, that's where you're going to put your reject lures and stuff like that. And when I'm actually fishing, I'll be able to put tools and things up here. Easy access, um, ample storage. That's what I'm looking for. Efficiency, easy access of, you know, to all my gear, plenty of storage space. I don't want to waste time looking for things. I, I don't want to waste time. I want my line in the water. I want to be filming. I want to be in a position to catch fish. Now, the final thing I'm going to show you um, is my, uh, my paddle holder. So let me, let me grab my paddle. And uh, this is really innovative. I wish I could say this was kind of my invention. But this is something else that I saw on a YouTube channel. And uh, it worked very well. So let me grab my paddle and I'll, I'll show you what I got going on here. So there's the paddle right there. And as you can see, the paddle is sitting on the outside of the kayak. Now I used to have the paddle sitting right here, right in the, uh, the right, the starboard side of the kayak. And it took up a tremendous amount of space. It took up space in this area. I couldn't have the tub here. It also took up space back in Lucy's area. And uh, just it just wasn't the optimum way to have the paddle. Um, so what I have here, this unit right here, this is actually the rod butt holder that comes with the kayak. And you get a pair of them. And what they're for is you're supposed to mount them on the inside of the rail. You're supposed to put the tip of the rod down in those tubes I showed you. And the rod butt is supposed to rest in here. And you've got this little bungee on here to keep everything in place. Well, you can see the paddle fits in there very nicely. It's bungeed in place. Of course, I still have... A tether here because the last thing I want to do is is lose my paddle but the bottom line is the paddle is outside the kayak it's out of the way it's ready to grab when I need it but uh, until then it's not interfering with what I'm doing it's not crowding Lucy it's not crowding my gear it uh, it's clean it's a uh, it's a very nice system I'm, I'm very happy I saw that video and uh, Man, when I saw it, I, I was already trying to brainstorm how to store the, the paddle outside the kayak. And when I saw that, I ran down here and made sure I could, I could find those rod butt holders and uh, get them mounted. And uh, there we go. So anyway, sounds like I'm getting another phone call here. We'll, uh, we'll wrap this up in just a second. Well, there you have it. My Hobie Pro Angler 14 ready for its next adventure. It's all dialed in. I hope those modifications are going to work out. And uh, if you're looking to modify a Hobie Pro Angler of your own, uh, maybe that'll give you some ideas how you might store gear and stuff like that. I am a trout troller primarily, so I kind of got mine set up for trout trolling. If you're a bass guy, you might want to set yours up a little bit differently. But bottom line is, 
Mine is ready to rock. Thanks a lot, guys. I am Kel Kellogg. I'm signing off for now. I will catch you next time right here on YouTube. But if you're looking for fishing gear, you know where to go. Rods, reels, and more. Great gear at a fair price. Fishhuntshoot.com. Thanks, guys. I will catch you next time. I'm Kel Kellogg.